Today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Imports Dragon, the Trash Pack, Gross Ghosts. Find a surprise inside for recommended for ages five and up. Spot took the liberty of picking up three of the gross ghosts. And I believe I picked this up at Walmart. Contents, two trashies, one surprise each inside. Uh, on the side of the label, not recommended for obviously zero to three. Sad, sad children. Also manufactured by Moose Enterprises. Moose. Moose. There are three of them. Let's start right away and get these opened up. For that, I'm going to have my good, trusty knife, Old Red, here. And we're going to get these opened up. Now, somebody did ask Spot, Spot, do you ever cut yourself when you're using knives in the, your reviews? The answer so far, and I have not answered this, because I don't believe I've answered this because I didn't want to jinx things, but so far the answer is no. No, I have not. Spot always wants to assure that I'm telling you guys be very careful when handling knives. When in doubt, if you are a younging, if you're, you know, about that tall, if you're about like an inch and a half tall, uh, make sure you have an adult doing all the cutting for you. Or a responsible brother. If you have a, a brother that just kind of twirls around butterfly knives, maybe don't get him to cut it open. Ask your parents. But they'll do it for you. That's what parents are for. Also for making delicious macaroni and cheese. There's two, and the third one. See, what I just did was, I was a magician. While I was performing the trick, I was talking to you guys. So you guys didn't see right away that I was cutting them, and then at the end of my conversation, I could say, oh, and the eggs, they're completely unwrapped. And somebody would say, oh my God, how did he do that? Misdirection, that's what it is. Opening up the first, they kind of look like little gummies. Opening up the first bag. I suppose realistically, put that down right there. I suppose realistically, this could be a Halloween kind of review as well. Spooky series. Spooky series of gross ghosts. There's grubs, bin monsters, hard rubbish. I'm wondering if a lot of these characters they've just reused. Because realis realistically, like, I don't understand how some of these are strictly ghosts. Like, Mold Shake. Mold, oh, actually, do I have it? For, no, I don't have it on English. I do have it on English, I should say. Uh, like, Rotten Sandwich. Rotten Sandwich. Would that be really a gross ghost? I don't think so. I'm just, I, I don't think so. On the back, there's Bin Sex, Bin Critters, Astro Trash. Now, this mummy's kind of neat. He's got some toilet paper going on there. That would interest me. That would interest me. If this interests you as well, you can go to www.trashpack.ca and see what's going on over there. Putting that to the side, or actually, you know what I should do? I should be clever and put this to the side like this. That way, I can tell you guys right away which ghosts we're looking at. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I believe the packaging... Let me just bring the packaging in once again. Packaging said, contents two trashies, one... Sur oh, I guess maybe one of them is the surprise. Takes me a little bit to clue in. Just a little bit. That's what happens when you get old. You don't clue in as fast as you did when you were younger. Leaves a lot of people that end up telling you, you need to get a clue. I don't even know what that means, but I, I need to get one, whatever it is I don't have right now. This is Yucco Taco. Yucco Taco. And don't believe me, it's actually right there. You see? I put that to the side so I could seem clever. That's Yucco Yucco, I was going to say Yakko, I did actually say Yakko, Yucko Taco. Um, other than really his boots and his hat being brown, the majority of him is uh, a glow-in-the-dark coloring. We shall put him to the side, opening up the next one, just like so, and pulling out the next one. This one looks kind of like maybe a computer or a robot. One of the characters from Wally -E that didn't make the cut. That one, I'm looking on my booklet here. 
I think he's actually on the other side. He is on the other side. That is Galacto Garbo. Galacto. So maybe he's like an old computer system. The systems that we used to play when we were young. We didn't have Xbox and uh, we didn't even have Nintendo till I think, what, 85? Before that, it was like Atari. It was old school, old school gaming where you were like a little dot and the dot just kind of moved around. So pretty cool, pretty cool. They Again, they kind of look like gelatin candies. Don't be eating them though, they're not gonna be good for you. Opening up the next egg, bringing the camera back, of course I can do that. Opening up the next egg, we're just gonna put the extra shells to the sides. They are perforated, of course, so the trashies don't <laughs> suffocate. You knew where I was gonna go with that. Maybe one of these days I'll get a shirt made that says, it's got to have holes in the top, and then on the back you'll say, eh, eh, so it doesn't suffocate. That would not be a really impressive shirt to have. That'd be kind of a kind of morbid. Uh, the next one, as we're looking here, this would be Zapper. Zapper. It's a battery. Kind of a translucent battery. He's kind of got some slime on the back of him there. Slime in the front. Zapper. Little battery. There you go. I thought he might be a bug zapper too. But he kind of looks more like a battery than he does a bug zapper. So I'm just just saying, I'm just throwing that out there. The one that joined him on that adventure. Opening this up. Oop. Opening this up. The next one is Putrid Pretzel. Putrid Pretzel. There he is right there. He's not apparently happy. Maybe he's not happy with the with his own taste. Some people don't like pretzels. I'm not big into pretzels. I know, yeah, okay, you can go to some, you know, theaters, movie theaters for a movie experience and they have soft pretzels. I'm not down with soft pretzels. I'd rather just go with popcorn. I think they're also very expensive. The final egg, and it looks like we did get all different ones here. The final egg, oh, I'm going to put those to the side. Put that to the side. The final egg. I feel like I want to say the award goes to. I have to remember. I, I don't do. I don't hand out awards anymore. That was my. That was what I did in the in, back in the day. Back in the day, which was a Wednesday. I can't take credit for that. That's Dane Cook. But the final ones. The final egg. The final egg reveals to us, in a fashion. Very similar to the previous eggs. The final ones, and right now I'm stalling, the final one is Trash Mite. Kind of like a termite, but he likes trash. He's like a little sluggy little character. Again, very squishy, very gelatinous. Trash Mite. And the last one, the last one, the final one, is Trash Blaster. Trash Blaster. Don't believe me, it's actually right there. Actually, to be Fair, it's facing this way, but you, you get the idea. Trash Blaster. Again, very squishy. I like the coloring. Of, I like how they put the purple in the front. That was a nice touch as well. Trash Blaster. There you go, guys. Not bad little collectibles. Certainly expanding out the world and the universe that is the Trashies. You are certainly a fan of Trash Packs. Fan of Trashies. You might maybe want to pick these up for yourself. You might get them all to stand. Today's collectible spot, there they are right there. Today we're having a look at the Trash Pack Spooky Series Gross Ghosts. Thanks for watching as you always do, guys. Stay tuned. Spot's going to have more collectible spots heading your way. Thanks for watching. See you next time.